Most of the meningitis victims had been injected in the spine with steroid drugs for the relief of neck and back pain. The confirmed cause of the disease, a fungus found to have contaminated vials of the medicine. About 75 clinics in 24 states across the U.S. have been told to notify some 14,000 of their patients who were given the drug. This is such a rare occurrence that it would be like trying to avoid a tsunami. It, it can happen, but it's extremely difficult to, to predict. Yet according to some critics, the outbreak could have been avoided. They say that federal regulators had failed to follow up on their own previous warnings of substandard quality control at the wholesale pharmacy which made the tainted medicine. That company is one of many compounding pharmacies which cater to patients requiring custom-made medicines formulated in smaller quantities than the mass production of big drug makers. The U.S. Food and Drug Administration had warned four such companies they fell below required sterile conditions. But the FDA is accused of failing to enforce its regulations as strictly as they should have with the smaller operations. They allowed this company to uh, resume its same activities that have been deemed in violation of the law for many other drugs and actually over time probably expanded their operation to other injectable drugs. Federal agents who inspected the Massachusetts plant after it was shut down said all the pharmacies' hundreds of products were now under suspicion. The fungal strain of meningitis is not contagious, but the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention say it could be weeks more until they establish how many patients who took the drug have been stricken with the illness. Tom Ackerman, Al Jazeera, Washington.